Greetings, extended family. Good morning. It's 4 a.m. almost 4 a.m. and we are going from uh, our apartment right now, uh, Stockholm, and we are headed for the Gambia. We have our stuff that uh, my husband is taking to the taxi, and um, yeah, I should be of more help <laughs> than just talk. But um, yeah, we are headed to the Gambia. We are so excited. Inshallah, I hope everything goes well. We are about to enter the uh, airport, so um, yes, this is what it looks like. It still looks like night time, but it's really early in the morning. Uh, so yes, so it's um, on with the masks and uh, wait for our turn. We are standing here at the queue and uh, yeah, we are waiting for our turn. <laughs> So we checked in our luggage. We only have three bags there, and then we've got one bag and this and my son's bag, my son's hand luggage. And um, so yeah, we are going to uh, scan our stuff in the X-ray. Make sure your hands are clean. So we are headed for gate 20 and this is 1 to 24. So we are going that way. Uh, we are currently in Arlanda. I didn't say that even. And it's actually starting to look like day, like daytime since it was so dark outside. So yes, those are probably our flights. One of them anyways, SAS. So as I said, we're taking SAS to Brussels. It takes about two hours and then we take SM Brussels to the Gambia from like, from Brussels. We take SM, the airline SM Brussels in Brussels <laughs> to the Gambia, inshallah. Let's see, gate 20, there we go. Yes, so this is gate 20. Our flight takes off at uh, five minutes past seven. I don't know if you can see that. Five past seven. And uh, yeah, what time is it now? It's 6.25, I think. So we have one hour. No, no, we don't have one hour. Yes, it's like an hour left. So we're just gonna chill for an hour and then we can board the flight, inshallah. Uh. Okay, we are on the flight now, trying to film. Uh, we have no one behind us, but people are still boarding, people are still coming in. We have people in front of us, uh, so yes. Ah, look at us. So this is exciting. Gambia, here we come. Gambia, here we come. <laughs> Inshallah, I'm excited. If motion is needed, a panel above you will open and a mask will appear. Your light just is under your seat. You may have to exit on the head in the aft or the wheel. So we have people in front of us. They are all but not behind us. So the plane is half full. If you can hear me. As a great location behind you. All camera baggage must be left behind in case.
landing at Belgium. I slept most of the flight anyway, so. Belgium. It looks like Sweden. <laughs> no difference. It's very big here actually. Yeah. That's the toilet. So it's quite empty around here <laughs> due to the COVID. Um I actually forgot that it was going to be this empty. So yeah, we're just going to claim a spot over there since we're about to wait six hours for our next flight and in four hours we'll be able to get some information about the gates and everything so yes let the waiting begin <sighs> now let the waiting begin <laughs> i've been wearing this for like i don't know four hours straight i need to breathe <sighs> Um, it has been two hours now. We are Dinner. still waiting. Ugh. And it's still empty. I mean, people come and go. There have been, I think, four people at this side. But there are people over there about to board their flight. So, yeah, people come and go. But it's, it's, it's kind of chill still because, I mean, I wouldn't want too many people near me anyway, so... So we have four more hours to go. Yes, I'm starting to get tired. Ugh. I seriously could just lay here, like over there or something, and just sleep. I normally sleep throughout my journeys, but um, yeah, I'm traveling with my son, so I can't really sleep. But yeah, just wait. <laughs> uh, so we came to an ATM to get some money because uh, my bank card was not working for some reason so I basically with withdrew 20 euro I didn't even know euro looks like this uh, it looks interesting okay let's see it looks like that it looks pretty empty <laughs> that's Europe over there okay so let me go and buy some food then it's basically like uh, some water and some and two sandwiches so that's what we are going to eat for lunch today so it's generally very empty here i feel like i keep saying the word empty it's just like the cleaners some travelers over there but i mean otherwise uh, yeah so i just bought two sandwiches and two bottles of water this is one bottle i have the other one in my other pocket uh, oh thank you <laughs> so yeah the, the shopkeeper saw me struggling with my stuff so i got a handbag that was nice <laughs> so that was basically the place where i got the food and uh ibrahim i've been shouting his name uh in this whole airport <laughs> seriously he is not sitting on in one place yes the toilets uh, let's go inside here and do some ablution. It's basically when you wash yourself in to pray. So, yes. So, I got a veggie sandwich. There's two sandwiches. Nana. Mm. Okay, Bismillah. Okay, so we have been waiting for four hours. So let's see. After four hours, the information would be here. Uh, there it is. Dakar. Where is Dakar? Via Banjo. 
15 minutes. B29. Okay. Hello, extended family. We have been walking for like, I think, 10 minutes now. And we're not even there yet. But we are in the in this right section of the airport. It's a very big airport. I mean, you can walk here all day. Uh, so we are headed for the gates B. And the thing is, I have to say something. They haven't checked, like they haven't seen my face once. I don't know if you can see who I am with the face mask. I wouldn't see who I am. Or like, I wouldn't see who someone else is with the face mask. But I mean, they haven't checked our faces once. In Sweden, they didn't. Here, they didn't as well. I thought they would be more uh, like stern on the rules uh, here in Belgium, but I haven't seen anything like that. So, I mean, it's still me, so, <laughs> you know. But anyways, I'm out of breath and we are walking. And this mask is not making it easier to breathe. So here we are. I'm actually seeing some black people around here. Uh, that's the gate, Dakar via Banjo, so I guess it's going to Banjo first which is good because we always go to Dakar first and uh, there's actually one thing I wanted to tell you extended family let me just switch the camera yeah so there was actually one thing that I was kind of nervous about because my husband's um, passport it says Abu Bakar like his name is Abu Bakar but the ticket said Abu Bakar <laughs> so I was like I hope they don't take that seriously but no one has said anything uh no one said anything so it's a relief um and no one said anything about seeing our faces either so that's good so now we're just waiting for another hour and then we will be on our way to the gambia inshallah so we have been waiting here for five hours now and uh, i must say like the time is going by quite quickly still it's not too um long um i i, I thought it would be more dreadful <laughs> But uh, it's not, so that's good. Okay, so they made an announcement that we were supposed to have our boarding passes presented to them and show them our COVID test. Te tests. Mm -hmm. And uh, they basically put this on our tickets, on our boarding passes, uh, which is some kind of okay or something that we can board the flight, that we have negative COVID tests. So that's what they did first. And now we are waiting for us to actually board the plane. Inshallah. Okay, extended family. We are on the plane. And we are on the flight towards Gambia. Towards Gambia. Okay. So we will be arriving in like six hours. Uh, so it will be a total of like 14 hours or something that we have traveled uh, from Stockholm. But it's all worth it. <laughs> it's all worth it. We are not flying into space, you know, so gravity will still apply. Most electronic devices can be used on board. Please check the details in your in-flight magazine, but whatever the case... just got these forms it's some kind of public health passenger locator form we are supposed to fill this out and then we have this uh, international embarkation card <laughs> uh, this thing actually we always fill it in when we go to the Gambia but this one is a new one uh, so we get one of these and then three of these for, for each passenger in our family so you will be getting this as well uh, to fill them in so we took the fish we are about to eat some fish and some fish some vegetables potato got my water there and we have got more food over there I'm hungry. <laughs> I really need to eat. Bismillah. Mm
It's dark. <laughs> dark outside. Can't see anything. Exhibit family, we are here in the Gambia. I don't know if you can hear me. There's so much noise. Um, but we are here. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Thank God we are here. You can see the Bangladesh International Airport behind me over there. And uh, I'm so excited. I'm going to try and film as much as I can. But, you know, I can't promise anything because it's so much happening. But we, I'm so happy to be here. So we just passed the immigration. Uh, they stamped our um, passport for, for us to stay for 30 days and then we have to renew it after we have stayed for 30 days since we are staying for longer since I'm not a Gambian citizen, <laughs> basically. Um, now we are waiting at the bag, uh, luggage we claim. And that was basically where we queued, over there. So yes. Uh, now we just wait for our bag. <laughs> mm -hmm. We are out of the airport. We are in the Gambia. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Gambia. Yes, we are here. We are Gambia. We are seeing much, but We'll see more tomorrow, inshallah. Okay, so my auntie is driving, Auntie Aminjai. You want so, auntie so, Auntie Aminjai, where are we? <laughs> we are at Sukuta right now. Sukuta, yes. okay. Sukuta. Sukuta. Uh, we just came from the airport, you know. Mm -hmm. And then we took uh, the highway, now we are in Sukuta. And we are headed to. Where are we going? <laughs> Serekunda. Serekunda. Dipakunda. Okay. Dipakunda, okay. <laughs> okay extended family um i am exhausted it hasn't been the most easiest task to you know film while traveling with with my child um so yes i uh, will see you next time this is the end of the video thank you for being with me throughout my journey to the gambia